Welcome to our farm in northern New Hampshire. I'm going to be bringing in the piece talking about soil biology. The trillions upon trillions upon trillions of critters down in the soil that make life possible on our planet. And the word I want to start with is mycorrhiza. This is the symbiotic union between fungi and plants. The Greek roots of that word, mycos, indicates the fungal kingdom. Rhiza indicates the roots of plants. And it's the two together that make a mycorrhiza. The fungi can exist as spores, but until they germinate and form that pact with plants, which goes back hundreds of millions of years now, uh, and until plants in turn provide carbon sugars through their photosynthesis process to the fungi, which in turn bring the plants nutrients, you get the idea. It takes two to tango. And I don't want to lose sight of that because sometimes growers make mistakes in assuming that the fungi come from different places. So we're going to look at spores and inoculum and, and understand how fungi carry forward. Um, and, and opening this door, what we're talking about is the soil food web. And here it's the Ancidomycetes, the sapotrophic fungi, both of which break down organic matter. All kinds of bacteria, Pseudomonas, Bacillus, which are also breaking down organic matter, but also assimilating nutrients into their bodies, which, which they get in turn get eaten, makes those nutrients available to the plants. And of course, the mycorrhizal fungi are part of this first trophic layer of the soil food web. Below there, it's the protozoa and the nematodes and the arthropods that are consuming some of the smaller critters, which in turn releases more nutrients for plant uptake. And it's this mineralization assimilization cycle where many of the nutrients come from, but we're also going to look at humification and, and how long-term storage of carbon occurs in the soil. Now, my wife is an herbalist, and one of the things I've learned from her was about the doctrine of signatures. So when you look at an arbuscule, which is the nutrient transfer mechanism of a mycorrhizal fungus, the type that go into the plant root itself, into the cells of the root, you see something that looks like maybe a tree. Maybe your eye sees it as the feeder root system of a plant. Maybe if you've been trained medically, you're thinking that looks a lot like the alveoli in our lungs where oxygen gets exchanged. And all three of those visions, so to speak, really represent something so tangible to the life force itself. And that's how I think of mycorrhizal fungi. I really want to elevate their place on this planet because they play such critical roles. So from the plant perspective, Mycorrhizal fungi help protect against soil-borne diseases. Mycorrhizal fungi are going to reach out and bring a much broader array of nutrients to the plants. That, in turn, is going to lead to healthy plant metabolism. We're going to explore that just a little bit. Beyond that, plants have an internet messaging system through their roots, connected by the fungal hyphae, the mycelium, that connects all the plants in the community. And messages can go out to say, aphids have come, or we're starting to experience this disease over here. You might want to up your plant defenses over there. And all these things, when taken together, are really about ecosystem resiliency. And the fungi are the drivers behind this. And then there's one more little thing. Fungi are the prime players in tucking away carbon down in the soil. Now, one of the things that mycorrhizal fungi do in cohort with bacteria is they produce a protein-like substance called lamellin. And lamellin is what gives the hyphae rigidity to move through the soil. Uh, it's also something that is used to pack soil particles together to form soil aggregates. And lamellin is, consists of approximately 30-35% carbon. So when hyphae withdraw, the lamellin is left behind. That's getting carbon in the soil. From the fungal point of view and their bacterial buddies, this is the creation of a gated community, a place to be safe from the bigger predators. But those soil aggregates, in turn, are what we see as farmers' soil tilt, good soil tilt. And there's nothing better than putting your hands into that crumbly soil structure, thinking, yep, I get a lot of credit for this. It was a fungi that did it. <laughs>